Hi parents and welcome back to the second part of the How to Heal Damaged Nipples video series here on my channel Kindness Milk. In the first part I talked about common nipple care products such as lanolin, breast chills, the multi mom compresses and salt water rinses which can be very effective in treating some sore and damaged nipples. But what if your nipple damage has not been caused by a suboptimal latch or initially your baby's latch was suboptimal but now you've corrected it and with the measures taken your nipple damage and soreness is still not healing. Then it is probably time to go and see your doctor to have a swab taken from your nipple areola area and perhaps your baby's mouth especially if your nipple areola area looks infected so that bacteria or candida any microorganisms that may grow on the areola area can be identified and then your doctor can prescribe specific treatment for you perhaps your nipple soreness is caused by something entirely different such as vasospasm, milk blisters or an underlying health condition such as an autoimmune disease. So if your nipple soreness or damage doesn't pass, definitely make an appointment with an IBCLC or another breastfeeding trained healthcare provider to help you diagnose uh, what the underlying cause of your nipple soreness is. In today's video, I'm going to introduce hydrogel pads, silver cups, medi honey, and all purpose nipple ointment. All of these products can be used to treat uh, sore and damaged nipples in certain circumstances. I have more or less experience with all of these products, but you definitely need to speak to your doctor first before applying these products to check with your doctor whether they're suitable for your individual circumstances as this is just an informational video. Here is an example of a hydrogel pad which contains glycerol, water and cross-linked polymer and it can provide some pain relief for some tender nipples. It should be avoided if you have an allergy to glycerin. They cool when they are when they come into contact with your nipple areola area and they can be stored in the fridge and just rinse with cold water before application and you just shake the water off before applying it to the breast. Each pad can be used for 24 hours and the remaining gel on the nipple areola area should be washed off with warm water before a breastfeed. The hydrogel pads can be used on open sores which are not infected and it's best to choose a brand um, that produces hydrogel pads specifically for breastfeeding. Silver cups such as these silverette breast angels, I have found that these have become the go-to product for new mothers for nipple care in recent times and these uh, breast angels which I have here were kindly gifted by earthmother.ie so thank you earthmother.ie these silver cups they have this unique shape that fits almost every breast anatomy and they're placed on the nipple areola area directly without the application of any other cream or any other balm, just a few drops of breast milk. They help prevent clothing rubbing against the sore or damaged area and they can be really soothing for sore and damaged nipples. These breast angels are made of premium silver and they're super lightweight. I was surprised how lightweight they were since I've never really touched one before because I didn't have to use these for my own breastfeeding journeys and usually the mums would handle them themselves. So I was surprised how lightweight they were so I can imagine that they're um, very comfortable to wear. Silver is also used um, in wound care as it's a metal that is um, naturally has antibacterial, antifungal and antimicrobial properties and also um, 
anti-inflammatory properties. Silver is not a common allergen, but it can cause skin irritation in some people. So just be aware of that. Many, many breastfeeding people swear by these, although more research is needed to actually prove their efficacy. Next, I want to briefly mention Medihoney, which can be used to help close deeper nipple cuts and injuries. Before you apply Medihoney, it is very important to speak to your doctor first and also to have a nipple swab taken to exclude any presence of candida in the nipple wound because the sugar of the honey could otherwise worsen the candida infection. It is extremely important to use 100% medi honey or medical grade honey and not any ordinary honey as the medical honey which is also used in wound care has been sterilized and irradiated to kill any potential bacteria or botulism spores which can be very very dangerous for babies under one. Babies under one should not ingest any honey, not even medi honey, so the medi honey needs to be washed off thoroughly before breastfeed. Sterilized medi honey is also used in wound care because of its antibacterial properties, especially for staph aureus because it can break down the biofilm of those bacteria. The product instructions advise to wash off baby's saliva after breastfeed with a warm wet washcloth and then pat the area dry before applying the medihoney to the wound and then covering it with a breast pad um, so you make a, a wound dressing if you will. And then before the next breastfeed, it's important to again wash the uh, medihoney off the nipple areola area. Make sure there is no medihoney residue before you nurse your baby as your baby shouldn't ingest any of the medihoney. And I will leave the links to the uh, product company, the medihoney company, in the description box below along with the link to the PDF for the product instructions. And lastly, I want to mention the all-purpose nipple ointment or sometimes also called triple nipple for which the Canadian pediatrician Jack Newman has a protocol and I will leave the link to his website in the description box below. The all-purpose nipple ointment is um, designed to target multiple causes at once as it has an antibiotic ointment, a um, corticosteroid ointment and also an antifungal agent. It is an ointment that needs to be prescribed by a doctor because of the ingredients and also it needs to be compounded in a compounding pharmacy. Um, it is pricier so it would cost um, a tub would cost around 60 euros and um, not every doctor is comfortable prescribing the ointment as the antibiotic use in the ointment um, can build resistance to MRSA so um, it should be it, and is usually used with caution and only in certain cases. So we've now come to the end of the second part of the how to heal damaged nipples video series. I hope you found the information helpful. Definitely always consult your doctor before applying any of the products mentioned in this video. And do let me know in the comments below if you had cracked sore or damaged nipples and what helped you to heal uh, your nipple injury. I hope your breastfeeding journey is going well and otherwise until next time, bye for now.